nice hat. Very nice. You've gone blonde. Is this for a new movie? It is, it is. It might go a bit blonder as well, we don't know. I had to do it slowly so it doesn't fall out, you know. Uh, I play Juliet, um, and she's quite a tough little Juliet. She actually is a ninja at one point in the movie, so it is very different from the Shakespearean version. But um, yeah, it is again the forbidden love story, star-crossed lovers, the whole deal. I, I, I first animated film I've done. I did an episode of The Simpsons once, so... Mm. It's lonely. It's a lonely existence doing animation, I think. Because you do it on your own and then they sync everyone together afterwards. But it's fun, I quite enjoy it. You can show up looking like a complete slob and no one will ever know. <laughs> I, I, I lived with gnomes for a while. I stood amongst them. I stood in the rain and the sleet and... What films are you working on? Um, I'm about to start one called Looper, which is a sort of post-apocalypto thriller with Joe Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis. It's really cool. Are you living this side of the pond now or over there? No, I'm in LA. I'm married an American, you see. That's what happens. What, what would you say to people that want to see the film? What can they expect? I think it's a really fun ride and there's something in it for everyone. I think for children there's that really magical, fun world of the garden and the garden gnomes. And then there's the Shakespearean nudges for the parents to enjoy and Elton's music is really dynamic and just another character in the movie. I just think it's so charming and sweet. Yeah. Well, I think that people, you know, you're, it's such a spectacle with the colour of it and you're able to do stuff with animation that you'd never be able to do with real people and so the world is so expansive as well, but I think I think it reminds people of their childhood when they all used to watch Disney movies and, you know, those old Disney movies, like even back to Snow White and I think there's something nostalgic in them that people will always love. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I think. Did you get to hang out with Elton David? I just met them five, six days ago and they're lovely, charming, lovely men. Did you meet baby Zach? I didn't, I didn't meet the baby. The baby was probably sleeping where it should be, yeah. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.